As you may know, both Prince Harry and Prince William have long been advocates for important causes through their royal duties. However, it seems the UN has made a clear choice between the brothers for a significant opportunity. According to reports, the Duke of Sussex, Prince Harry, privately requested to address the UN General Assembly next month on the issue of global vaccine equity and the need for international collaboration in distributing COVID vaccines. In an unexpected move, the UN rejected Harry's request and instead chose Prince William to deliver the speech. Sources say Harry had lobbied UN officials for over a month, hoping to use the platform to raise awareness about this critical issue. However, the UN appears to have favored William, likely seeing him as the safer and more responsible choice. As the future King of England, William's words would carry more weight with world leaders. Harry's supporters, however, believe this decision was a deliberate snub, given the Duke's increasing criticism from both the palace and the British media since stepping down as a senior royal. Some commentators suggest that the UN's decision reflects Harry's reduced royal status after relocating to California with his family. Meanwhile, William remains deeply involved in his royal responsibilities in the UK and internationally. As second in line to the throne, he is seen as a stable representative of the British monarchy. There are also questions about whether Harry's remarks have become too political and controversial since leaving the UK. In contrast, the palace reportedly prefers William to maintain a more neutral public stance. No official reason was provided by the UN for rejecting Harry's offer, but insiders suggest there were concerns that he might use the platform to criticize the monarchy or UK institutions. This fear likely stems from his earlier interview with Oprah, where he openly criticized the royal family. To avoid any unpredictable moments, the UN may have felt William was the better choice. In response, a spokesperson for Prince Harry expressed that while he was disappointed, he respected the UN's decision. They added that Harry remains committed to advocating for global vaccine access, even in an unofficial capacity. However, this decision has undoubtedly added to the ongoing tension between the brothers. According to palace sources, William was not involved in the UN's selection process and felt awkward about replacing his brother. At one point, he even considered withdrawing to avoid worsening their strained relationship, but the palace persuaded him to go ahead, viewing it as a critical opportunity on the global stage. It's reported that William has tried to reach out to Harry to smooth things over, but so far, Harry has not responded. Relations between the brothers appear to remain distant, despite hopes for reconciliation after their grandfather Prince Philip's funeral earlier this year. Many royal watchers fear that this high-profile rejection could further deepen the rift at a sensitive time. This situation raises the question of whether Harry has permanently lost the patronages and platforms once available to him as a senior royal. Organizations like the UN may now prefer to work with William and other senior royals directly. This likely won't be the last time Harry finds himself sidelined from major opportunities that he might have once had access to. Meanwhile, all eyes will be on Prince William as he addresses the UN General Assembly next month to discuss global vaccine equity during this ongoing pandemic. How Harry and his team respond to being continually replaced in the public sphere remains to be seen. This rejection is certainly another setback for Harry's global ambitions and status. The long-term impacts on his relationship with the palace and his ability to drive meaningful change independently are yet to unfold. Let me know your thoughts on this story in the comments below.